Oh, this is my life. This isn't some game. You know, I think they were nervous because anytime someone you trust someone to tell your story, you don't know what's coming, and they obviously did a very silly, bad thing. And then I think they watched it and they were relieved. I think they found that it was it was honest. It was an honest portrayal of them and what they did. You know, and it's not glorified or exaggerated. It's, it is what it is. It was enlightening. Warren's a, a hilarious guy. He's very funny and very charming and. Always, I feel like he's always got some, the next thing, you know, like now he wants to get into filmmaking and, and, and I don't know, acting and or directing and all that stuff. And it's just his, his next project. And yeah. I feel like he's always having some sort of project, which makes life interesting. And I think you want to be around him for that reason. I watched some interviews and uh, kind of like worked with the guys to kind of form my own idea okay. of, of the character. And like obviously talking to Bard, he had like a wonderful open door policy, I feel like with all of us. If we had an idea, we could yeah. email him or talk to him or anything. Yeah. So like that was enough. And that was the most liberating uh, way to go, I think, because then you're just you're just bringing all of you to it. You don't you don't have any like preconceived notions of how you should do uh, anything. You know, I, I don't know if they were crazy about the idea of being part of a movie or even being in a movie but I think when they saw it they realized that you know it's about more than just the robbery it's about these ideas of identity and lost young men searching for you know searching in all the wrong places for who they should be and you know what you know, there's questions of masculinity and all of that sort of stuff, you know, that, that I think we get into through the lens of a heist movie, which is unusual.